So the big question is this, the big idea is this. If you're to swap your life with someone else's life, who would you choose? Now, I'll just hold the concept, just hold the moment. Now, I know initially you're thinking, there's no way you'd do that. Ed, there's no way I'm going to do that. You're going to reject the initial thought. However, the actual element that defines whether you're going to answer this question is one critical ingredient. That critical ingredient actually defines your whole life. Okay, so the question is, if you're going to swap your life with someone else's life, whose do you choose? Depends on one ingredient. That one ingredient is this, how you feel in the moment. Because here's the deal, right? If you're feeling amazing, right? You're having an amazing life. Everything's going well. Your relationship's going. You're feeling great. Your business is growing. You're going to stick. I get it. But here's the deal. If things aren't going well, and they're not going great, they're not going as you imagined. Like, just imagine, you wake up one day, you're not having the, the purpose that you really want. You're not having the meaning that you really want. And instantly, you can swap to be in Oprah's shoes. You know, walking out with your own show, with that sort of level of impact, that sort of difference that you could make at a scale, and instantly your problems are resolved, right? Imagine, right, your business isn't going the way you want it, all right? Your career isn't going the way you want it. Your, your income isn't, you know, what, it, what you really want it to be, and you're not going to pay the bills instantly. You could swap to being Mark Zuckerberg. Imagine that. I mean, walking in his shoes to have the control to own the largest social media empire in the world today. What would you do with that sort of power? What would you do with the control? What would you do with the cash? You'd probably buy yourself a pretty something, right? OK, maybe you're not into Facebook. Maybe swap to Jeff Bezos. And you can walk around with that power owning Amazon, one of the first trillion dollar businesses the world's ever going to see, instantly your problems are resolved. Maybe you're lacking some self-worth, right? Maybe you're lonely. Maybe you're missing someone and you're not connecting. And bang, instantly, you can walk on stage and you could be Justin Bieber. Come on. Selena Gomez, all right? Hundreds of thousands of people saying, I love you. I love you adoring you at that sort of level, and instantly your problems are all resolved. Maybe you're suffering a bit of weight loss issues. Your diet's not going quite well. You're scrolling down Instagram, and you see that instant pretty picture, right? The perfect abs, the perfect legs, the perfect face. And you think, bang, for a moment, you can just have that body. What would you do with that body? And don't tell me you haven't done this. You're having some relationship connection problems. It's not as good as it used to be. And then you look down on that social media feed and you see that gorgeous girl or guy, whatever you're into. And for a moment, you go, could I have that person? And bang, your problems are resolved. Maybe you're not into any of that. You say, Ed, that's not my bag. I don't relate to any of those people. OK, I hear you. But here's another thing. I know that you've been inspired by someone. I know that you've been inspired by someone when you were younger. Maybe you had a, a hero or a heroine, all right? And could you imagine in your darkest times, when your problems were at the worst, you could swap your life with theirs? For mine, it was the great Tony Robbins. Imagine being Tony Robbins. I remember when I first started growing my coaching consultancy business, my first live event, super excited. One person turned up, one. Tony's got thousands of people at his events. I remember my first live webinar, one person turned up and left halfway. And I remember thinking, my life would be so much easier if I was the amazing Tony Robbins. Now, you still might be thinking, I'm never going to swap my life. But the truth is, this happens every single day. Every single day, millions of people, billions of people, will look at other people's lives and compare them to theirs by looking through social media. They will compare their self-worth with other people's pictures with other people's highlights, with other people's results. And here are the true stats. The true stats of comparison are only getting worse. This is actually within the fabric of society today. There are more young people that will compare themselves to others than ever before. One in four people, according to Mind, who manage 
the big charity for mental health say one in four people will suffer from a massive mental health problem today. Over 1.5 million people per year increase every single year will kill themselves according to the Global Society of Health because of comparison on social media. So whether we like it or not, this is here and it's here to stay. Let me tell you about my first ever client. My first ever client was a young boy compared himself to everyone, didn't like where he was in the world, didn't like his place, was always last at class, never finished first, and constantly was reminding, constant reminding of the fact that he was less than on a daily basis. Tough days at school, tough days at home, had a lot of conflict with his dad. One day, he decided to end it. He'd had enough. He decided life just wasn't worth living anymore. And so he ran to a railway station nearby as he was getting prepared to jump in front of the train that was going to take him out, as he was leaving the platform moments before, something magical happened. I don't know if you've ever had that, right? Where that feeling where you're just not good enough. I don't know if you've had that. Maybe you haven't had that to that extremity. But I know that there's a moment where you felt not good enough in some shape or form. And the truth is we live in a world today where we're so used to seeing highlights, filtered pictures, perfect results, and we forget about the journey. We forget about the problems. Think about it. We forget about the fact that Oprah had to go through all of those things to be where she is today. We forget about the fact that Oprah was impregnated by a family member, had a stillbirth. We forget about the racial torment that she had to go through. We forget about the journey because we get forced to look at the highlights. We forget about Mark Zuckerberg and Jeff Bezos going through the anxiety and the stress. All right, we forget about the law cases. We forget about the anxiety that, that Jeff would have gone through when Amazon almost didn't make it through. We don't see the abuse on a daily basis, it, what it must be like for Justin Bieber on a daily basis, right? for Selena Gomez, the online bullying that must be sent to them on a daily basis. We don't see the years and years of them playing their music over and over again when no one cared and no one shared their music. We don't see them living a, uh, you know, a scared life, worried about whether the paparazzi are going to actually un unveil some information about their private life. We don't see that, and that's the problem. And so we live in a society when it's not cool to talk about problems. And the truth is, life is just one massive problem. It is what it is. Life is a journey going from problem to problem to problem. The meaning of life is to actually give your life meaning as you go through the journey of life solving these problems. Every entrepreneur knows that. If you want to become a successful entrepreneur, all you need to do is solve at five figures, the problem to six figures. From six figures to seven figures, there's another problem. You resolve it quicker and faster, you go through to eight figures and nine figures. You can solve those problems at scale, you have a super successful business. And although that sounds morbid to think of life as just problems, it is what it is, it's been proven. Those that say it is what it is, get access to the most beautiful emotion the beautiful emotion of accepting. Accepting it is what it is. The quicker you go through the problem, the easier your life is. The cooler your life is. The calmer your life is. The truth is, right, you and I are not getting out of this bad boy called life alive. You know that, right? No one's hacked that one yet. Like, we're going to die. And the fact that we're going to die is a good thing because it means that we can stop worrying about everyone else. We can start worrying about if anyone likes your stuff on social media or not, whether you have subscribers or not, it doesn't matter. Because when you die, no one's gonna remember you for how much money you earn, how big your house was, or how amazing your car was, or how many people subscribe to your YouTube channel or not. All, of the, all that you're gonna be remembered for is the love that you gave, and then that's it. And so therefore, the quicker we can get to that, the easier your, your life will become. And so therefore, the truth is, 
as soon as you can really live with the fact that your problems are there as gifts. Think of this like this. Imagine a, a movie, right, without any challenges. It's not much of a movie. Imagine the Titanic without hitting the iceberg. It just doesn't make sense. And so therefore, actually, we need that iceberg because you like the hero in every movie. The bigger the hero, the bigger the challenges, the bigger the problem. And so you can only be successful doing this, comparing yourself to yourself, and that's it. I'm successful. I have a successful business. I'm happy. I'm fulfilled. But am I? I'm only successful if I compare myself to where I've been. All right, I used to be a massive failure. I now have an eight-figure coaching consultancy business. It's not hard to improve on that. But if I compare myself to myself, then I can be happy and successful. I have thousands of clients all over the world. I've helped thousands of people create an online coaching consultancy business so that they can make a massive difference to other people. I'm fulfilled if I compare myself to where I've been. I couldn't look after myself. Now I can help other people make a massive difference. And so all you have to do is focus on one door, open that door, take the step, one step, and 1%. And if you focus on 1% for the rest of your life, you'll be good to go. Because in a year, if you just did 1% every single day, you'd be 38 times better at the end of the year. Just like a musician. There is no rush. You just have to enjoy the notes. You just have to enjoy the journey. Let me leave you with this. My first client was at the moment of jumping out, was about to let go, wanted to eradicate his life, didn't think he was good enough. And just at the last moment, something magical happened. Two hands on his shoulders pulled back, and he got a second chance at life. He got a second chance to create a new path, a second chance. What would you do with a second chance? Would you stop worrying about things that don't matter? Would you stop worrying about everyone else and just focus on opening up one door, taking one step and 1%? Hey, just a heads up. He's actually here. I, I brought him with me. Would, would you like to say hello? I, would you like me to bring him up? He's, he's, actually, he's, he's actually in the back. I brought him here with me. He's here. He's always here. He's here right here. Wherever you go in life, you will take yourself with you. My first client is myself. Your first client is yourself. Here's what I got for you. You don't need to swap your life with anyone's life. You don't need to worry about your problems. You just need to focus moving further forward. One door, one step, 1%. You are individual. You're unique. There's no one like you. You, to me, are someone very special. I was able to turn my massive big problem into my biggest gift. And I know you, too, can change your massive problem into your biggest gift, too. Thank you.